Hey guys, I'm Draz. And I'm Trent. And we just saw Black Panther, the premiere, and it was fantastic. Yeah, it was. I was so hyped, so excited for this movie. Ever since, not actually, not even ever since Civil War, I've just been super stoked for it because I love Panther as a character. It was actually the first Panther comic I picked up was in 2005. Um, in it was the Who is the Black Panther arc, which we happen to know a lot of elements from that story have translated into the actual film itself. So I was super stoked. So, what do we think of it? Stay Ooh. tuned. Stay tuned. Yes. And they'll find out in a second. <laughs> So what do we think of Black Panther? I'm gonna kick it off with you because this is a super fan right here. I'm a fan, but I don't really know too much about it. Trent knows everything, so, so go for it. Just a little more. So I really love the, I love the movie so, so much. Everything that they did, there were a couple of creative decisions that I was kind of apprehensive about in the, in the grand scheme of long-term planning. But for the actual movie itself, I really enjoyed everything that happened. Um, the plot, the setting, just everything was phenomenal. My, my, one, my one apprehensive thing before going into the movie was the soundtrack. Lo and behold, they had a freaking awesome soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack was incredible and I do love hip hop a lot. And you're a rock guy. Mm. So I can see where you're coming from, but they really switched it on its head. A lot of tribal music. Yeah, those tribal sounds were awesome. Fantastic. Every battle scene, you had the tribal drums going. You had really, but they mixed it with contemporary kind of yeah. uh, co contemporary orchestral music as well. So it had a contemporary feel. It was just it, it built the world so much more mm. than what a soundtrack similar to Guardians of the Galaxy would do. Yeah, that kind of had a fun tone. This this showed the weight. That was on to Charles hand, uh, on to Charles' shoulders. Sorry, mm. the entire time. And um, so, what what did you think of the visuals? I thought the visuals were insane. Like so colourful, so so vibrant, man. Like out of all the Marvel movies that we've seen, how does it stack up with the rest of them? In you know the cinematography and everything. I think it's the room. Yeah, Bu building that world. It looked visually better than Guardian of the Galaxy. I, I think. You think? Because you feel like it's 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 a lot more real. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. It had a very... What it reminded me of was more Ragnarok. Oh, yes, yes. A lot, okay. When, when he, they're actually on the planet Sakaar, mm -hmm. I thought a lot of the Wakandan designs, even though they were African in nature, mm -hmm. encapsulated uh, Jack Kirby's art, the, the bold shapes, the really kind of yes, big... Yes. The, big um, city that was Wakanda. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it had that kind of Sakaar kind of vibe to it. Okay. And even Thor, there was a Thor, like the very first Thor, Kenneth Branagh's Thor, especially at the very end when it panned out and showed Wakanda as a whole city, you could see similarities between the Golden Arch of Asgard and how Wakanda was built. So how did this story live up to the comic books? Was it cheesy or did you find, no, they're following this all the way through they, properly? They were very, very comic accurate, every, every single element. Um, for those of you who haven't watched it yet, um, I made a classic characters video for Movie Nerds a couple of days oh, ago. Fantastic. Check that out because a lot of stuff that's in there, boom, pretty much, we were pretty spot on with everything that's in there. Yeah. It had the heart-shaped herb, it had the tribal process to become the panther. Mm -hmm. In terms of comic accuracy, this is probably one of the most comic accurate that's movies. Cool. That's what you want to see, especially yeah. from a Marvel movie. You want it to be comic accurate because, you know, we fell in love with the, the characters from comics. You want it to transcend on a screen, so... Yeah, we didn't need to re, re um, tread old ground. It was just from the get-go, boom, here's the world of Wakanda, here's uh -huh. the world of the Panther, here's the politics behind it. We didn't go back too much into what no. happened in Civil War. It was always forward momentum. It was a clean origin story, how yeah. he became Black Panther, his father. The whole backstory was great. Yeah, and I love the politics behind it. Mm. I love I love the politics. A, a lot of what I thought originally, a lot of the turmoil was going to come from the outside world mm -hmm. trying to come in, which there was some of that. Yeah. But it was ultimately the politics from within Wakanda itself that really kind of showed the movie with the uh, the white gorilla tribe and the white rhino tribe, yeah, especially definitely. in the third act. Um, a lot of that kind of stuff really came through. Mm -hmm. And I, I, if if you're not familiar with Wakanda and how Black Panther fit within the yeah. Marvel Universe in the comics, this does a great job of explaining why they are an isolated nation and why they don't want to kind of... Oh, I loved how they did that. with the world. Well, I didn't really know much about Black Panther, you know, which classic characters. I knew 
of the character, you know, growing up because you love Marvel and you read a few comics here and there, but seeing what you made and then also watching this, I love it. And that's why I was so excited for it because it's just refreshing to see a different character that is not so mainstream out there. You know, it's not Thor, it's not Captain America, it's Black Panther. How obscure is that? Yeah. Even though he's really not, if you're a huge comic book fan, but I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. So let's talk about the cast, but I've actually got my phone here so we can remember the cast and all their names and get it correctly. So let's kick it off with uh, Chadwick Bosman as Black Panther. The Black Panther himself. He was fantastic. Yep. He captures a role. He, yeah, phenomenal. I couldn't cast a better actor in that. And then you go to Michael B. Jordan. You had your reservations about him. The reservations haven't been met. You there. haven't seen Creed though. No, I haven't seen so Creed. So given you haven't seen Creed, I think he's a great actor, but then he was what? Was he Johnny Storm? He was Johnny Storm. See, I haven't seen that. So I guess we can go back and forth with this. As um, Eric Killmonger, as a villain, yeah, I, I, I was happy. I was more excited about our circus. Yeah, uh, Killmonger didn't do it for me as a villain. And it, my thoughts of what was going to happen happened. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, Killmonger is the main villain, and to me, it was just Michael B. Jordan being Michael B. Jordan in every other role that I've seen him in. Yeah. Which I, I just didn't. Mm. There's no depth. And the, the, the sad thing is, the depth to that character came far too late. It came far too late in the movie, yeah. and for not enough time. No. If, if what we had, what we had learned, and what we were shown happened in the first act instead of the yeah. third, it may have been completely different. But he came off very arrogant, came off very narcissistic, and mm. just I want the world, I want the throne because I want it to be mine. Yeah. Like we only learned after that what the whole backstory, the whole, yeah, the whole story, the whole, story the, the whole spiel about it. I thought um, any circus as um, Ulysses, what was his last one? Claw, <laughs> Ulysses Claw. He was phenomenal. The uh, the South African uh, accent. That's you're, all. You really nailed it. Oh, he, yeah, I can't he nailed it. the South African accent quite well. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Yeah. And his, his hand that formed into a gun. He is a exceptional actor. You know, we had Angela Bassett as the mother. She was fantastic. Yep. Daniel Kalua. So he was from Get Out and he was uh, Kawabi. Yeah, the second in, the second in command. Wakabi. 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 He was fantastic. He had Forrest Whitaker. He can't go wrong. No, you know, we played, saw, played played Siri, the village elder, yeah. the brother of um, King T'Chaka. Yeah, he was, and his backstory was sick. Yeah, really good. Uh, Denai Guerrera, she was phenomenal as one of Black Panther's guards. That was excellent. Her name is Okoye. Okoye. Now, Okoye. before we go any further, yes, the Dora Mirage, the Dora Mirage, it's a tongue twister. Yeah, they're the warriors. Okay. So they they are the guard the guards of the panther. Mm -hmm. They kick the freaking Amazon's asses. One oh, woman do. wouldn't have a chance. Not at all against the Dora Mirage. They remind they remind me uh, of the Unsullied from, from yes from Game of Thrones because they're all shaved head. They all shaved all shaved head, but they're so precise and they're just extremely skilled warrior women. Oh, warrior women are the way to go. Yeah. But these. These ladies would kick serious butt. The main love interest, and uh, can we get this up again because I feel, I feel bad, uh, Lapita. So we all know Lapita, she's a big actress, fantastic. And she was N Nakia? Nakia. Nakia. Yeah. I need to yeah. learn these things. But Nakia, she was great because she wasn't only a love interest, she was a, another kick ass, kick butt. Yeah, freaking warrior princess, you know. She wasn't. She wasn't a uh, a typical love interest. No, and she wasn't a pushover yeah. either. Like she can hold her own, and she wanted to do what she wanted to do. Oh yeah, that's why she went. That's why she was a spy for Wakanda to try and go into the outside world. Hmm. Not because a king told her to, because that's what she felt was right. Oh yeah. The one character, my favorite character in this movie. Okay. I don't know the actress's name. Yes. But I know the character. Black Panther's younger sister Shuri. Oh, she was a tech guru. She was exceptional. Yeah. You saw a bit of like Bruce Banner's uh, crazy tech whiz and, and Tony Stark's tech whiz. Like, imagine that all three of those getting together and creating something. You know who she reminded me of? Who? Q. Oh, Q from the Q from Bond. Oh my God. Yes. Giving all the gadgets, doing all doing all the stuff, having she, a lot of fun doing she it. She was so well versed in all yeah. the technology. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy what she came up with. But her, her and her and um, 
Bozeman had a lot of good chemistry. Chemistry, there was a hell of a lot of laughs, mm. and it, it wasn't... It not too many laughs, though. No. Not Ragnarok laugh. No, it wasn't like Ragnarok, but they didn't take themselves too seriously. Mm. There was very stern moments, but we laughed. We laughed, we all chuckled in the audience. I think it was a great vibe. Yeah, but... Yes. The, the main thing is, we loved this movie. Oh, we loved it. it was Absolutely great. loved it. Are there issues with it? Yes. The third act kind of has the typical mm. Marvel style in that it kind of... You felt that as well? Yeah. You felt it sort of just like... It went on a yeah. little bit too long. I just... Right up to that point, but if you just... Uh, it's one of those things, we're going to get it in every movie, so yeah. we can't really just be like, let's hope it's just going to be action-packed all the way through and super quick. So we, we had to expect that was going to come, but... You know, was it a movie that we highly recommend? Yes. Yeah. Should should you guys go see it? One hundred percent. Even if you're not a fan of Black Panther, if you're a fan of comic book heroes, you're a fan of Marvel DC. Go see it because you're not going to be disappointed. You're going to walk away refreshed and going, "This is cool." Yeah. Finally, they've come back. So let's wrap. We, let's wrap. We it love up. it. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap it up. Two thumbs up from me. Two thumbs up from me. And remember to subscribe below to Movie Nerds and also hit that bell button. Just just hit it because you'll be. Uh, Subscribe. Uh, yeah, you'll be updated to all the uh, upcoming videos. But anyway, this is Draz. And I'm Trent. And we're Movie Nerds, and we'll see you next time at the movies.